What's up guys, in today's video we are going to capacity test and tear down the Dakota Lithium 18 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. Let's not screw around, let's get around the tester. Here we go. If you're new around here, my name is Jeremy and I am capacity testing and tearing down small lithium batteries commonly used in fish finders, ham radios, and astrophotography. If you're using these batteries in another application, let me know in the comments below. Each frame of this time lapse is 60 seconds. We are discharging at a rate of 0.2C, which comes out to 3.6 amps. I'm gonna pause it right here. In this frame, this is the voltage right before the battery cuts out. We're looking at 10.62 volts. And you can see here in this next frame, when the test is complete, we have 17.25 amp hours. Failed the capacity test right off the bat. So pretty disappointed in those results, guys. Uh, this isn't the first time I had a Dakota lithium battery fail the capacity test. I also had a seven amp hour that did not go well, made a video on that one. Uh, I'll leave a link at the end of the video. So you'll make sure you check that one out. Um, I did, however, have a 10 amp hour that did well. So I'll leave both of those at the end of the video. Let's get this guy weighed up. This battery weighs up at four pounds, 9.9 .9 ounces. So after the capacity test, I did put a little bit of a charge on this battery. So right now we're gonna do a short circuit protection test. So when I do this test, I'm gonna hook a jumper up, short the battery terminals here, and we do not wanna see current going through this. We might see a little spike, but then it'll come right back down. Yeah, see nothing, nothing there. Pass that test. So I'm pretty darn curious why this failed the capacity test. We are going to void the warranty on this, meaning we're gonna crack it open, we're gonna look inside, we're gonna figure out what's going on. Here we go. Hey guys, before we void the warranty on this battery, I wanna let you know that I buy these batteries with my own money. I'm not sponsored by any battery company or anything like that. Now, there's cost involved with that. And the way I pay for them is with the YouTube channel. If you enjoy the content, the best way to keep me going hit that like button, hit that subscribe, watch this video all the way through and click on one of the other Dakota Lithium videos I did and then share it. Share it with your fishing buddies. Anyone who you think will get value out of this video, send it to them. That's how we're gonna get this thing rolling, guys. Let's crack it open. Here we go. All right. It doesn't seem like this battery is sealed up that well. It didn't take much effort at all to open it up. But here is the first look. What is this? What we got going on here? A lot of bathroom caulk in here. This battery does not say it's made in China like the uh, 10 amp hour that I did. The good news is I'll be able to use this case. The bad news is this was this thing was barely even sealed. It didn't take much to get into this thing at all. One thing I, I wish they they would do is put some type of gasket around here especially since the majority of these batteries are used in a marine environment and, and that goes for all pretty much all the small battery companies um they're not putting like a, a gasket in here and i'd really like to see that it's not just to call lithium it's i don't think i've seen a single one i'm really curious what this guy here is No, oh, that's what it is. I haven't seen that before. So this is a plug-in style. I guess it saves them a little bit of work during assembly. I wonder if this wasn't made at their Grand Forks location. Just, just because of the build quality so far and how much bathroom caulk they used. It looks pretty similar to that 7 amp hour. So let's look at this BMS. It's got a fairly large heat sink on it, but I don't understand why you cover the heat sink up because you're putting fish paper over it, you're putting shrink wrap over it, kind of defeats the purpose. So let's uh, stop covering that up. I don't know why people cover those up, uh, especially when you have bigger heat sinks. So these cells here, these are 32700 cells, 6,000 milliamp hours. Uh, we have three of them in parallel right here. So that's 18 amp hours. Uh, probably just cheap, crappy cells. So they're just not pulling capacity. Uh, and, and really, build quality. Look at all that. 
Look at all that hot glue in between all these. This, this pack is held together with, with hot glue and tape. Um, yeah, I mean, this is a... Uh, Kind of reminds me of the seven and a half hour build where it just looked like it was a I don't know, amateur hour, I guess, as far as build quality goes. Um, so this is a 4S 3P configuration. So these three cells, these are in parallel with each other. These ones are in parallel. These ones are in parallel and these ones are in parallel. So this set of three is in series with this set of three. And then these two are in series with each other on behind the BMS up here. Um, and then these are in series. So that's how, how this pack is configured. So balance leads, they're crisscrossing each other. I don't like that. Um, you got balance leads touching the cells. So these balance leads are positive. The case of the cells are negative. I wish they had a little bit more insulation in there because um, the cells is just a little bit of shrink wrap. So, I mean, it's an easy, easy fix. You wrap your cells in fish paper and then run your, or then run your balance leads. So on these batteries, I really like to see them have low temperature charging protection. Um, this one does not, unfortunately. It does have a high temperature protection circuit. So we're gonna test that out right now. I've got the battery hooked up to capacity discharge. Uh, I'm gonna pull one amp. And I'm going to heat this probe up right here to simulate um, hot conditions. You don't want your lithium batteries getting hot. Ah, look at that. It worked. Yeah, super disappointed, uh, especially since, you know, there's such a big name in the fishing community. Um, yeah, it's just disappointing, really disappointing, the, the quality. This battery's 180 bucks. There's better options out there. I recently capacity tested and tore down their seven amp hour and 10 amp hour batteries. The 10 amp hour did really well. I was hoping this one would do as well. If you haven't seen that video, it's right here. Click on it now. If you haven't seen the seven amp hour, that was a disaster like this one. It's right here. Keep it tuned in here, guys. Thanks for watching.